Welcome to Modern Musings, conversations with the maiden mother and crone, looking at ourselves and the world through the lens of the 21st century. And welcome back. I'm Amber Garvin, and I'm here with my co-hosts, Cindy Murray and Kristen Hessler. Hello. Hi. And uh, this week, since um, St. Patrick's Day is coming up in a few days... We wanted to talk about the luck of the Irish. And um, this is kind of a special subject for me because all three of us are Irish and we have Irish ancestors. My family has only been in America a little bit over 100 years and we immigrated from Ireland and before that Scotland. But... um, I'm sure, like, unless you're a Garvin, and maybe even Garvins don't know this unless you do some extensive ancestry background like I do, but my last name actually means rough fate. And um, it was kind of shocking to learn that when I was younger, but it kind of made sense that um, a lot of people in my family have suffered rough fates. You know, including my own father and cousins. And so we're just going to talk about, like, family luck and Irish luck today. So what have you guys learned about your family? Well, I was just going to say that, you know, one of the misconceptions is that the luck of the Irish, a lot of people use that to say how lucky you are, you know, but really are the... The Irish are not lucky people, or not in my experience anyway. Case and, in point. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, would a lucky population need to have Blarney stones or look for be so superstitious? Or yeah. yeah, and they yeah. have yeah. Very all these safeguards to have good luck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, you know, they're always trying to catch a leprechaun or whatever. You know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not all saying all these people in Ireland do that, but, right? I don't with, think they yeah, do like, either. But but yeah, you know, I, that's the that's the perception that people have of, of St. Patrick's day, you know, and, four leaf and clovers, like, leprechauns, right. And that those things are lucky. And so they must be lucky. And it's like, no, because a lucky people would not need all to have talismans. all these talismans. Yeah. yeah, that's totally true. So anyway, that that's always my thing. As I always tell people, the Irish are not lucky and my family is not lucky either. I have always done a, a joke about um there was a song on hee-haw or whatever and p- one of the lines in the song went if it weren't for bad luck i would have no luck at all and that's me i've always had what people would call bad luck so mm, i call me, it behind the clock being behind the clock and i guess i should explain that before we go on like a what behind the clock or yeah, before the i have not heard that ho- term clock. before and it's just something that i've kind of like heard off and on throughout my life is like people that are behind the clock are kind of the unlucky people the ones that uh try their hardest to get to the train but they still arrive five minutes late so that is the equivalent of a day late and a dollar short yeah and they um you know are like the best at their job they try the hardest but then somebody else gets the credit the like sneaker in that comes in and kisses up to the boss and they get the credit Mm -hmm. you know and and it's just like and so then there's so if you're behind the clock yeah that that's what you are and if you're before the clock you're the person that like goes through life like unusually lucky in the right place at the right time in the right place at the right time oh that's never been me maybe you win the lottery or you find five dollars on the ground and i know people that that happens for all the time and i'm like yeah how they always find the best sales or they find a 20 dollar bill floating down the street or whatever that shit never happens pays their food for them like a (laughs) oops (laughs) we're human (laughs) It kind of feels like it, though, doesn't it? (laughs) Well, I mean, like, uh, I'm always hearing stories about how, like, somebody went in the line at the drive-thru and they get up to pay and then somebody's like, Right? The person in front of you bought your drink. Yeah, and I'm just like, nobody has ever done that. My order is always wrong and then my card gets charged twice. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 
That's mine. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the luck of the iron. No, yeah, you actually, when you're Irish. talking about being behind the clock, I'm like, God, I hope my supervisor is listening because I hope they can go, oh, that's why Kristen's always late. I try. I've been working at the same company for almost 12 years now, and I'm on this, like, permanent um late this is your final morning Kristen. you know <laughs> you've been late to work this many times this year do you realize that yes i do sir i completely <laughs> realize do not think that i just showed up here and thought i was here on time the entire time i was here i was like oh my god i'm late i'm late i'm late no i have been trying my entire life to be somewhere on time and our my family we always say we're slow as a herd of turtles and blah 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 and that's a whole nother thing we can talk about but <laughs> but we operate on Murray time i legit wake up with the intention <laughs> of being somewhere early and it does not matter what i do i am always four minutes late to work i am right at that moment where if i was 30 seconds later i would be considered like excessively late like, I'm in that grace period. Thank God for grace. Um, but I, it doesn't matter what I do. And I have this talk with my supervisor because she, she's always trying to help me, like, find ways to overcome that. Like, now we're all working from home, so it's even easier to be late to work, surprisingly, because <laughs> I can walk into the, the next room. I, can, I literally, <laughs> I tap into every minute of my day, and I try to use every single minute, and I think well, I get myself goes, into trouble That goes that. back to cups, you know. Yeah. And, and oh, yes. The, the story of the cups. Right. Fill. But it's funny because I literally have a goal. My, uh, my tending goal this month on my Cultivate What Matters is to be at work 15 minutes early. Like, I am not clocking in, but I'm sitting at my desk ready to work and all I have to do is hit the button uh, like the timesheet program's already pulled up and I just hit the button when it's time right um mm -hmm. you have to log into the computer you have to join the VPN you know because we have uh -huh. a private server and then um I have all these different applications that I have to get through in order to get to the clock in program and lo and behold I'm sitting there 15 minutes early and why does it take my computer 15 minutes to load I, I know had that what? same and problem it happens when I to me worked online. Every day, it is always something. When we taught online, the other I had day, the same I was problem. ready to go, and someone came to the front door. And like, I have dogs in the house, so I had to go answer the door because the dogs were going crazy, and like, they kept knocking. Right. Yeah, and I'm like, why did they have to come? I clocked in at three o'clock, and they literally showed up at like. 2:45, or you know, right when I was ready to clock in. Right, it's like, oh. I can't, yeah. I can't figure it out. It doesn't that, matter what I do, what precautions. Stuff happens like that for me too. It's like yeah. everything, it, anything that, any task that would take five minutes takes me five hours because there's something that goes wrong. Um, the other day was a perfect example. I had some podcasts I needed to edit. I try to get on my, and I'm, I'm running on a deadline here. So, you know, they got to be done on a, at a certain time or they're not going to post on time. And you may have noticed that some of them didn't post exactly at midnight on the day they're supposed to post. They may have posted later in the day because I'm sitting here, I get ready to, I've arranged my whole schedule so that I'm ready that day to sit down and edit the podcast. And lo and behold, my computer doesn't want to work. And it's like, of all the times right. for this to and happen. And you went through all those rituals, like having talismans, basically. You went through all those rituals yeah. to ensure that, that you were there right. early and that everything yes. was in order. Yes. And everything was in order. And my computer, you know, and it took me forever to get my computer working. And, you know, there, there's a whole long story about what happened with the computer. But, you know, it's like, what the heck? Does this happen to normal people or just... Me. Is it yeah. Me? Is it is it that last name O'Neill? You know yeah. the anything the, bad that will happen will is what I always say. Well, that's Murphy's and, Law, and he was Irish too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, that explains. Yeah, it that does. I mean, no, like really, really that that explains it because um, I have a similar goal in my cultivate, but what matters as Kristen does is that I in January and. I am not going to pay for parking. So at my work, there is the close parking lot, which is like two blocks from my work, and you have to pay twelve dollars and thirty five cents to park there. Yeah, and then a there, day, yeah, right? a day, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. And then there is like the parking lot that we have parking passes for at my work that um, we have monthly parking for. 
in downtown and it's like about five or six blocks away but you know it's free I don't have to pay for it and so my goal is to get to work early enough that I can park and take the 10 minute walk to my work Mm -hmm. and I have to clock in at a certain time or I'm going to be considered late and glared at as I walk in uh, or whatever and um, or just you know show up on my time that I was late and we're supposed to clock in at a certain time so like uh, towards the end of the last year it was getting pretty bad I was sleeping later and later Mm -hmm. and I was having to pay for parking every day even though I have a perfectly paid for parking pass and so my goal for January is to not pay for parking. And so that would may, mean that I would have to get to work like at least 15 minutes earlier, you know, to whereas if I park in the paid lot and you pay on an app so I can pay when I get in the building after I clock in, it takes me like a minute or two to get to work at most. And then the other parking lot, it takes about 10 minutes. So that is one of my goals is to not pay for parking. And so far, I've done a pretty okay job. I think I had to pay for it once. So I did mess up my goal like oh, once since school started back. Yeah, that's not too bad. Mm. That's, yeah. It's it, it's better than like the whole month. I mean, well, yeah. this is true. This is true. Yeah, I'm and sitting here going, God, how much is that? That's like. Two hundred and forty dollars or yeah, so, roughly. Yeah, like two hundred and sixty dollars. I think I'd be riding the train. No kidding. Yeah, and Man. see, the thing is, there is no train. And you station can't be late with the train. My, yeah, my oh. you can't be late with that because no, that's true. That's true. Yeah. When I was living in Denton and taking the train, like I would have to be at the train at like five six eight five, oh, six five thirty six in the morning Ugh. to take it all the way to Dallas. Yeah. Uh, I I would be late all the time. <laughs> yeah, when I, I rode the bus, um, you know, and, and those of you in, like, the major urban areas where everybody takes the bus, you can completely understand this. You know, the bus has intervals, uh, so you have to be there waiting for the bus. It's not like just getting in your car and you can make up that one minute, hopefully, with – you know, Good driving fast. Lights, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, but when when it's the bus, oh, God, you know, there would be some days where I'd wake up in the morning, and everyone has those days where maybe you're off. Like, I've heard people call it off kilter or something where just everything you do, like you're dropping things, you're like super oh, clumsy in the I morning, and like you get out yeah. to the car and you don't have something and you have you to have go to back go inside. Back in, like, I have those times. days where – you know, and I'm, and those are always on the days where I'm being extra precautious and taking my time and being more deliberate about getting ready. Those are the days when I end up forgetting stuff. I don't know what it is. Like sometimes like when I rush out the door, I guess I just grab everything and go. But when I spend more time being more consciously, um, see, I think I'm the opposite. I tend to forget things more when I'm in a hurry and then it slows me down even more. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I just, it drives me crazy. Or I drop because, things or I yes. can't find my keys or. That's the yeah. day when I trip going out to my car. Like I know it's going to be one of those days when I've already tripped and I've only been awake for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had to change my clothes already once and I haven't left the house. You know? <laughs> I mean, I've had those days too where it's like you're late for work already and then like you lose your keys you lose you lose something else you forget your id badge as you're walking out the door (laughs) okay i lost an entire purse for a whole month i couldn't find my purse (laughs) i i did lose my keys for a long time uh they were gone for about two months i couldn't find my keys um this in 2021 and um sometime over Christmas, I lost a purse, my entire purse. I had my wallet and I had my keys and my phone, you know, the three right, the major three things. things. Yeah. But I lost the whole entire contents of my purse in my house. <laughs> I knew my purse was in my home and I couldn't find it. And my house is pretty organized and clean, y'all. I could not find my purse. It was behind the door in my office on the hook. <laughs> 
and there oh, was a jacket no. hanging over it, and I, <laughs> I never saw it there. Oh, and no, I like... literally was like suffering. I didn't have my inhaler. Um, you know, I couldn't get my door key at work to get in. You know, oh, like the, the, swipe the, the card. yeah, I'm like. And so every day when I was working in the office over Christmas break, I had to stand there and knock on the door and wait for someone to come get me. Oh, yeah. And I literally showed up. This is one of those days where I got I made all these extra precautions to be at work early. Uh-huh. I showed up 40 minutes early because I had to plug my computer in and get some things yeah. set up. So I was 40 minutes early. And I arrived because I work a later shift, you know, for nighttime coverage. I arrived and... Everyone in the building was at lunch. So there was no one there to let me in. So oh. I was an hour late because they oh, it was no. Christmas time. And, and I guess they went out for like a holiday oh. lunch thing. And so I'm just standing out there like, well, I can't work. And I literally was just like, I think I'm going to call in to work today because <laughs> I can't work. Or, you know, yeah. and, uh, you know. It was Ugh. it was a mess. I was really flustered, and then I got to work, and I was late. It counted against me. It wasn't, you know, it was. That That's is my life right there. That is frustrating. <laughs> well, you talk yeah. about losing things. That it made me think about the time that I lost our cordless phone. This is back when we still had landlines, and <laughs> and I had a cordless phone, and it disappeared, and could not find it six months longer than six months we were looking for this stupid phone and and we're like it must have got knocked off in the trash and gotten taken out or something you know it was it was crazy and lo and behold um the time changed in the fall or spring i can't remember which it was probably in the fall because it was a long time and my husband gets a stepladder to we have this clock that over that hung over our entertainment center and the only way you could reach is just get a step stool and, and stand up there and, and turn the clock back you know mm-hmm. and so he gets up there and he looks down and what's on top of this entertainment the center the phone and and uh-huh. uh, both of us instantly remembered exactly what happened changing the, the clock we were changing the clock <laughs> oh, no. we got a phone call and he was up there on the thing talking on the phone while he changed the clock and he laid the <laughs> phone down and then of course the battery died so that when we pushed the little button to locate it yeah it it was dead and it was like oh my gosh that who else would that happen to <laughs> i i have a similar story this was like back when i was uh living in vernon and um i had like a when we had like work keys to go in classroom keys like a key to get in the building and then a key to get in the classroom and then of course my car keys and they were all on this like one set of keys and my work id badge and everything like that was all on this set of keys and you know i go home for christmas break and um all of a sudden, when it's time to go back to work, my keys are gone. Yeah. And it's like, where are my keys? I can't drive. I can't do, yeah. I can't get in the building. And you, you couldn't find your keys. Like, yeah. yeah. And it's like the day you need them. You yeah, can't the, find d- them. the day yeah. I need them. And so those, it was like those keys disappeared off the face of the earth. Yeah. And so I had to like, you know, tuck tail, go to my boss and be like, I lost the building key I lost my classroom key you know first I was like kind of relying on other teachers to let me in and stuff like that and sneaking in so I wouldn't have to admit I mean I had a spare car key of course you know and a spare home key but you know like I couldn't admit that I lost the big master key to the building that opened everything and finally I had you know when I it was apparent that I was not going to find these keys anytime soon I had to go and be like, um, can I get another key? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was so scared, and my boss looked at me, and he just laughed. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm okay. Like, oh, man, I put this off for so long. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, he, and all he's doing is sitting here laughing at me. <laughs> I never did find those keys, though. Ooh. I lose things all the time. <laughs> it's It's... Oh, I just can't, I can't tell you how many hours of time I waste 
Oh my gosh, remember when you bought something. that day planner? We usually buy our day planners like in August, uh, no, September, September or October. September when they come yeah. out, the happy planners Yeah, for come next out. year, we'll buy our, our and, next upcoming yeah. year's day planner. And you kind of have to stash it away because it's if you're not, not ready you don't to need use it. Because you yeah. get it in September. And so December rolls around and I'm like, I'm ready to set up my, my planner for um, the next year. I think this is in like 2018. I think it was the 2018, 20. 19 was, planner no i think maybe. this was the 2020 planner. oh maybe it was lost. the 2020 yeah. anyway i i got ready to set it up and i could not find my planner and i could not find my planner and i tore my room upside down i looked everywhere and i i couldn't find it and i i went out and bought new ones because i'm like I, the only thing i can think of is it got knocked off into the trash can and got sent <laughs> out you know and and no, not a week after I bought that new one, I'm sitting there and I move, I, I've got this little bin under my work table and, um, and the bin has some um, iris boxes. I don't know how to explain it, except it's like a 12 by 12, um, little plastic case and they stand upright in there and they're full of some kind of ongoing projects that I was working on and I had to pull one of those projects out and I pulled it out and lo and behold, there's those stupid planners that I bought. And I'm like, now, wait a minute. I looked in there. I pulled that whole bin out and moved those things aside and looked. And I don't remember seeing that. It wasn't there. How did those planners get there? Because I looked for them for like a month, all of December. I'm looking for these planners and they weren't there. And I finally broke down and bought another one. And and there it was. It's the and fairies. The Irish I, bad I was about luck to fairies. say, those are like sprites playing sprites, tricks on you. Yeah. leprechauns, something. I don't know. We, ha- we, we blame it in our house on the ghost. Um, we have a ghost that plays tricks on us. And I've looked for things before and looked and looked and looked. And I will find it in the weirdest place. I had this little calculator. It's like a little handheld battery calculator that I use to pay bills and do bookkeeping and stuff. And it was, it was gone for like a year. I swear to God, it was gone that long. (laughs) And, and I couldn't find it. And I was, I hadn't broke down and bought another one. I was just mad. I was using the one on my computer or on my phone or whatever. I was just so mad that I lost this calculator because I love this calculator. And then lo and behold, I'm moving these books. I have all these, um, stacked up notebook binders under my desk that had, um, for different, I'm a, I'm a travel agent. And so I do group cruises and things like that. And I have a notebook for each group cruise and, um, each, each different group or each different cruise has its own little notebook. And I was moving those around and lo and behold, underneath one of those books, there's my calculator between, between two notebooks. And I'm like, okay, I would have never put that calculator there how did that calculator get between yeah two notebooks that i pull out all you know and and use but it's just stuck there between the two of them and that is just the weirdest thing so we we like to say it was the ghost in the house the ghost hid the calculator the ghost hid the planners and then, and then when that's your ego, it is. Yeah, <laughs> no, like uh, you're not, blaming not in, it is the ego. I mean, like going I'm, back to I, our yeah. last week's discussion, it is the ego. I need definitely. to just admit that it was me. You know? it, 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 <laughs> but I, you know, I'm just like I don't understand. How could it be there? But yeah, I, stuff like that happens to me all the time. I will be looking and look. I waste more time looking for things than. And and I I swear that everything has its place in my in my room, my studio. You know every everything has a place where it belongs. And when I'm looking for something, it's always because it's not where it belongs. And why the heck isn't it where it belongs? And that that might go into a, a discussion that we're going to have in the future about clutter bugs. And oh yeah, like different in a, in levels about of clutter. Two bugs. weeks, I think we're talking yeah, in about two that. Two weeks, yeah. we're going to talk about that. <laughs> that that's going to be exciting because I am a clutter bug too. But yeah, it's, I yeah, I swear that's the thing. I'll I'll have a project. If I have a project that needs to be done, everything gets stumbled up, fumbled up because I'm having to look for something or something doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Or 
I'm waiting for someone to do something and I can't proceed until they do their part or, you know, it's just nothing ever quite goes as planned. And that's that, I guess that's that Murphy's Law. It's the luck of the Irish. I'm behind the clock. I'm just always behind the clock. You are. I am. You're kind of late. I'm <laughs> late everywhere I go. Rot rabbit really... syndrome. I'm yes. late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm going to get that tattooed on my oh, arm for... like a white rabbit <laughs> clock right. to remind me to not be late. I saw this funny meme that I think I shared on Facebook a while back. Let me see. If I can find it really quickly, it was one of those. I think I even shared it with you guys. It was like a something along the lines of when when uh, you officially officially run out of excuses for being late. Oh, I will yeah. likely be a little late because of who I am as a person. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Getting rid of that ego there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Instead I'm, of making it, up an excuse, it's not traffic. It's me. I, I'm late because. I left I late. Yeah, I left late. I, I didn't stayed get up. in bed. <laughs> yeah, I woke up and I was like, oh, heck do no. I really need this job? <laughs> <laughs> Snooze. <laughs> I'll just put on less makeup today than I did yesterday. Oh, yeah, or yeah. put on uh, makeup like as I'm walking in the building. I I'll just totally put my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Well, at least you're not doing it while you're driving. driving. I, that makes me crazy. I used to do that. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I, I resolved to not do that in my new car. Mm. That, that just makes me crazy. I see people driving down the road, putting, putting their mascara on, and I'm like, no. how can you be doing that? Well, I, you know multitasking <laughs> i can't even eat and drive hardly so <laughs> no, I, man i can't even like drink a coffee and drive because i spill it on <laughs> <laughs> that's that luck of the irish there yeah there we go here. you know always gotta arri- arrive oh, to work speaking of if luck i'm of wearing the a irish, white shirt I, my niece also irish <laughs> I hope. <laughs> oh my God, we we um, she's moving. She just recently moved um, out, and and I was helping her move. And before we uh, we were in the car, we stopped to get a Sonic because we love our Sonic soda pops and everything. And um, we go through the Sonic and we get our drinks, and we're driving um, to the yeah. to the other town that she's moving to, and. So we get there and I pull out my phone and my phone out of the, out of the, had it on the console of the car and it was wet. And I'm like, where's this liquid coming from? And, and I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. You know, I'm like, did my Coke tip over or something, you know? And so I pick up my drink and, and it's wet on the outside of it, but I don't see any holes and whatever. And I look down and my console is standing standing coke liquid like an inch and a half two inches deep in the console and i'm like where the heck is this coming from you know and so i'm looking for it looking for it and i pick up hers her drink and she when she had put the straw in she shoved it in so hard that it went all the way through Through the the cup. cup And there's oh. this perfect little round hole with the straw sticking out at oh. the bottom of the cup. And she was like, dang it, I never even got a drink out of that. Oh. <laughs> and half of it had drained out in my car. Oh, it no. was the grossest thing. But it's like, that is that is a perfect example of the luck of the Irish. Because yeah. she just stuck her little straw in there and it just went pew, right through the that, bottom of the cup. That reminds me of something that I did the other day actually like um i had my water cup with me at work and i guess i had sat it in some like ink or paint or something like that and i was wearing a kind of white shirt like one of my favorite the white shirt edgar Allan poe quote white shirt friday special to work and i'm carrying my water cup and i'm leaving and um, I'm drinking, and I kind of like uh, rest it like up against me, and I look down, and there's like ink or oh. so- paint or something all over my shirt, and I'm like, where did I get this? I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm driving in the car, and there's like ink all over my shirt, and I'm like, is it all over my car? And I'm looking for this ink, and it's just like 
okay, I just brought it out of my classroom. I had to have sat it in something. And then I, and so I rushed home to wash the shirt, hoping that it wasn't ink or that it was washable paint. And yeah, no, I've totally ruined that shirt. Always happens when I wear a white shirt. That, you know, I, it it doesn't matter. I can try not to do it, but I always get food on my clothes, food on my clothes every time does not fail. And especially if I go eat sushi and I can be so careful and, and just like not drip or dip, you know, whatever, and never fails always at least one kernel of rice or one little drip is going to come out and get right on my clothes. I don't, never fails. Never fails. And I, you know, my husband eats all the time and he never gets any food on him. And I'm like, how is it that you, you can do, eat the same food I did and not get that on you? And I do every single my time. My boyfriend's the same way and he eats all the time and he never spills anything on him. And I have one bite and it's all over me. Yeah. My husband is the exact opposite. <laughs> he eats food everywhere. <laughs> so does your daughter. Sometimes it's hard to watch him eat. I'm like, oh my God, you got sauce on your beard. <laughs> He's saving it for later. And he always has like his finger. I'm like, how do you eat a sandwich and have more sauce on your hands than in your sandwich? <laughs> and he's the opposite. Yeah. He's he's a messy eater. Your daughter is too. <laughs> yeah, she is. I actually was just commenting on that last night. I was cleaning something off the table and I was like, God, we, she has half her dinner on the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's so skinny. She it never makes right. it. Yeah, it doesn't make it in her mouth. It ends up on the table. <laughs> and in the dog's mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Conveniently. Yeah. Especially if it's vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. It fell through my lip, Mom. Yeah, right. <laughs> Does anybody else uh, have anything to add about Luck of the Irish? Uh, I'd like to know what our readers have, or our readers. <laughs> I, you know, our, <laughs> our, listeners. our listeners. We have readers, too. We, we have, have a lot of readers. You know, so, you guys, have, if, if you're just listening to the podcast, you're, you're missing, missing out. out. Yeah, yeah, you should read our blog. Podcast definitely. is just part of the conversation. We go into a lot more depth on some of these subjects or topics um, on our blog. So you should definitely check us out on uh, our website. It's modernmusings.net and now check out our facebook page we have a facebook group mmc chat we would love to hear from you send us an email at info at modernmusings.net comment on our blog and and we're really instagram really TikTok. saying you know definitely continue this conversation with us um we've been uh so many you know episodes in and we would really love we want for some comments you, from yeah. our listeners yeah leave us let some us comments. know where you're from leave or, us some likes speaking of that we actually have some uh listeners oh, yeah. in we ireland some... so we wanted to say hi yeah, yeah. You guys. yeah. we want to hear from you guys especially yes. like uh what are your views on luck being being irish, irish in ireland, in ireland like, yeah. <laughs> because you know we're just like what second third fourth generation irish over here in america so we want to know like what it's actually like over there because none of us have been there i haven't it's on my dreams so yeah i, I, I want to go there. list definitely so yeah. definitely say hi wherever you're from right yeah it, we yeah. want to we want to hear yeah you we've comment. got listeners from all over and so we want to give all of you a shout out thanks for listening thanks for coming back all the time um I know we're kind of erratic. We, we're all over the place with our subject matter, which I I hope that's something you like. If it, you know, if nothing else, comment and let us know which podcasts you like and what you want to hear more of. Yeah, or, we'll or talk what you about hear anything. Less of. We, we love to talk. Yeah. And, and we'd <laughs> love to talk to you. So Yeah, g- yeah. give us an idea, like, what, what kind of podcast do you want to hear? Send us an email comment on our page and we will talk about that subject because all we do is sit around and talk yeah, all the time whether the recorder is on yeah or not. <laughs> yeah that, that's why we started this because we like to talk and we just decided we're going to start recording ourselves talk yep okay so next week we're going to be talking about manifesting yay 
And so let's, magic let's get right out now. of the bad luck mentality yeah. and, and manifest, start manifesting manifest some, some good, good luck. luck. Stuff. And yes. that kind of throws back to Eckhart Tolle just a little, Tolle just a little bit. So we're all kind of like on the same subject coming up. But yeah, we're going to talk about manifesting next week. And so... You come back and listen next week. We want to give shout outs to um, Rimshot Graphics, uh, Creative Audio Tech, Creative and Audio Red Tech Door Studios. And Red Door Studios for our graphics and equipment. And, and our gear, yeah. And, another, and our music. <laughs> yeah, and our music. <laughs> and then uh, another uh, shout out to our readers. I mean, listeners and readers, readers. and <laughs> listeners, yes. Come back next week and we'll talk about manifesting. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. And good luck. Yeah, good luck. St. Patrick's Day is in a couple of days. Good luck. Bye.